Hi, welcome to Innovation and Design Thinking, MCQ, with explanations for topic theory and practice in design thinking. 1. The main objective design thinking research is a. Testing the theory. b. Refining the theory. c. Both a and b. d. None of these. Answer. c. Explanation. Both the theory and practice go hand in hand in design thinking as they are closely interconnected. As there are close interrelation between theory and practice, there is a need for design thinking research and its main objective is test and refine the theory of design thinking. 2. J. Von Thienen found some analogy between design thinking and a. Psychology, b. Musicology, c. Sociology, d. None of these. Answer, b. Explanation. Both design thinking and musicology aims for something productive and creative. Musicologists examine the bits of music and their composition in the same way design thinkers examine design the different solutions and their outcome. 3. A solution is said to be innovative, if the solution is a. Unusual, b. Useful, c. Both a and b d, none of these. Answer, c. Explanation, there are two dimensions of innovation, they are first usefulness and second unusualness. 4. The correlation between unusualness and usefulness in this design thinking research is a positive, b, negative, c, zero, d, none of these. Answer, b, explanation, wild ideas are encouraged in the D school training, but there certainly is a danger of what may be called an oddness trap. A go for the wild approach might be more productive in circumstances when basically all likely solutions have already been explored and something else is wanted. In this experiment of design thinking research, this was obviously not the case hence this research found a negative correlation between unusualness and usefulness. 5. Design thinking research shows less communication problems in a D school training teams. B. Non D school training teams. Answer. A. Explanation. D school training improve communication skills and also communication problems can be handled easily by D school trained teams. What elements of the D-School experience most powerfully enhance communication skills, are issues that would have to be researched. 6. A go-for-the-wild approach might be more productive in circumstances a, when basically all likely solutions have already been explored and something else is wanted. b. In all circumstances. Answer. a. Explanation. Wild ideas are encouraged in the D-School training, but there certainly is a danger of what may be called an oddness trap. A go-for-the-wild approach might be more productive in circumstances when basically all likely solutions have already been explored and something else is wanted. 7. Hypothetically D-school trained and multidisciplinary teams produce number of innovative solutions when compared to untrained monodisciplinary team. A. Less. B. More. C. Equal. Answer. B. Explanation. In a design thinking process, teams are encouraged to explore the problem space copiously before actually deciding on one particular solution. In monodisciplinary teams experts are equally trained and all trained in the same domain, then the knowledge that their team adaptive is much limited when compared to that the knowledge of a team where the members are different in their domains of expertise as in multidisciplinary teams. Above discussion supports that d-school trained and multidisciplinary teams produce more innovative solutions. This may not be true in all situations. 8. Falling in love with funny ideas must not deflect designers from a cost of the product. b. Appearance of the product. c. The user's true needs. d. None of these. Answer. c. Explanation. Design thinking is a human-centric, solution-based, problem-solving and iterative framework. Hence innovative ideas should not deflect from the user's true needs. 9. In general, multidisciplinary teams have communication problems when compared to monodisciplinary teams. A. Less. B. More. C. Equal. Answer. B. Explanation. Multidisciplinary teams with differing academic backgrounds have been trained to use different strategies when approaching a problem, they have also been trained to use different concepts. The words they use may differ, the categories by which they sort things in the world may differ and the implications associated with one or the other categorization may differ as well. This discussion supports the notion that, multidisciplinary teams experience more communication problems than monodisciplinary teams. 10. The close interrelation between theory and practice in design thinking demands. a. Innovation. b. Creativity. c. Design thinking research. d. None of these. Answer. C. Explanation. 
Both the theory and practice go hand in hand in design thinking as they are closely interconnected. The theory provides is a blueprint in guiding the organizations in general, design teams in particular during the design phase. As there are close interrelation between theory and practice, there is a need for design thinking research. Design thinking research should help to test and refine theory elements of design thinking. Thanks for watching. Comment for any suggestions. Like, share and subscribe.